Welcome everybody, my name is Diane Roberts and I'm a prophetic artist. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. And if you'd like a prophetic painting, picture or drawing, please head to my website or I'd be pleased to give you a free prophetic picture for yourself. In listening to Richard Raw, who's an amazing in terms of giving contemplation to um, as a gifting to everybody really. B, um, let's describe contemplation as a meditative process. So a meditative process which was always in the Christian religion and has been forgotten in recent times. And many people felt that it was just for monks, for people, nuns, people in special orders. But he describes it as it being for everyone who founded Contemplative Outreach in Colorado and America at Snowmass. Um, Tom, he knew Thomas Merton and of course Thomas Keating, beautiful monks um, and priests who have taken this a stage further into giving this contemplation to everyone. Now I practice contemplation twice a day um, and it's quite a difficult process to try and work that into your schedule, but it's so valid and so important that you do that. I do a 20 minute sit in the morning, virtually as soon as I get up, just sit for 20 minutes with my eyes closed. Now I've also put a link in the description box of how to date and how to do this process, this practice. Um, it is a prayer and it is a practice. Um, and what's different about it to normal prayer is that you're not really using the mind. You are allowing this space to come between you and your thoughts. Now many people think that they are their thoughts. Body image, this image which um, they role play out. I've been a, you know, a teacher, an artist, and even now I've got a role because I put my prophetic art hat on when I'm talking to you now. And that's my ego speaking. It's not really the, the divine indwelling which is present within me. You have a difficult childhood um, and you have a special need, then you, you need to find validation in yourself because inwardly you feel, feel unworthy. Um, the ego can get hold of this unworthiness and then put a put a label on that as well. So that everybody can meditate, everybody can do contemplation. Um, it's not that difficult to start. To continue and to persevere and to continue with the practice is of course the important thing. My afternoon, I actually go onto a website and share with about 20 or 30 other people. And so I sit with a group in the afternoon at around five o'clock for my second sit of the day. Um, and we read Thomas Keating, um, the book, Open Mind, Open Heart, and I have our 20 minute sit, which is usually open with a chant or a prayer. So it's important for me to have that five o'clock sit. And because during the day, you can have a busy day, you can be, you know, doing lots of different things in your day. And of course you lose that interior silence. You lose the precious time that you gathered together within yourself, in your heart, in the morning. And so that little sit in the afternoon tops it up. And, 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 and it's a process of topping up this divine union with God. We say our sacred word, to introduce the idea of our intent. We, our intent is to listen to God, allowing that space, the spaciousness or the isness of the divine indwelling to manifest itself within oneself. It's always there, but our attention is always directed outside. When we look inward, we look into our heart, we look inward into ourselves, we find that there is this wonderful, place which is not interrupted by the mind, the mind with constantly judging, judging other people, judging yourself, um, putting on your roles. You realise that you're actually not thinking anymore and then within that space that 
is the moment when you can have a moment of that spaciousness, that isness, and the vastness of oneself. One even can disengage with one's body, even though you're within your body, but your body isn't that relevant. There's something else. It's a mystical thing. In fact, the mind can't comprehend it. 